Hello, welcome to Martin Harmon Art TV. In today's video, I would like to talk about Bristol Museum and the history that surrounds this. Let's get to it. So firstly, where is Bristol Museum located? Obviously, Bristol Museum is based in Bristol. Bristol Museum is actually situated in Clifton, which is about 0.5 miles away from the city centre in England in the UK. Bristol Museum is run by Bristol City Council as part of Bristol Culture. When was the museum established? Bristol Museum's foundation lies in 1823, so it was that long ago, and it was originally part of the Bristol Institution for the Advancement of Science and Art. It seems like in April 1871, the Bristol Institution merged with the Bristol Library Society, and on the 1st of April 1872, a new combined museum and library building in a Venetian Gothic style was opened. From doing research, it looks like some parts of the museum was built with money given from Sir William Henry Wills, and he was a member of a wealthy tobacco importing company, and he gave this as a gift for his fellow Bristol citizens. Apparently, he was a keen supporter of the arts, and he served as a president for what is now called the Royal West of England Academy, which is another art gallery based in Bristol. And this art gallery is still open and here today. Supposedly, at one point of history, Bristol Museum, or some parts of the building, was used as a Freemasons Hall. So who designed and created Bristol Museum? Though I found out it was designed by Sir Charles Robert Cockrell, an English architect around from 1788 to 1863. So I guess what you guys really want to know is, is there a fee to get in? Well, the answer to that question is no, entry is completely free to explore the museum. And there is even a gift shop and a coffee shop for those of you who just want to browse things to buy or sit back and relax. What collections can you see at Bristol Museum? Bristol Museum's collections is pretty vast. I mean, there's just so many objects and things to discover in this building. Collections include things relating to Bristol's history, which is pretty interesting if you wanna learn more about the surrounding local area. And then they have everything from geology, Eastern and Western ceramics, natural history, Egyptian artifacts, and they also have a, an art gallery containing international paintings and sculptures from different time periods. 
If you like this video and would like to be notified about future videos I put out there, you're welcome to subscribe to this channel. My name is Martin Harmon, an artist based in the UK, and in this channel you will find videos ranging from educational art related topics, my views about the art world, the making of my artworks, art movies and much more. An interesting fact is that in 2012, the museum was given the entire 50,000 piece collection from the former British Empire and Commonwealth Museum, which was a museum based in Bristol that I did not realize um, that explores the history of the British Empire. Um, this museum um, is now closed. And you can also see temporary exhibitions on display at Bristol Museum. Yeah, so when I was there filming, I saw an exhibition documenting Indian people from the former British colonies helping the British fight the world wars. So what is installed for the future for this museum? So from 2015 to 2018, the Arts Council England funded the Bristol Museum and Galleries and Archives to help deliver public outcomes. Recent funding has also been put in place for improvement from the museum's estate and development fund delivered by the Arts Council. So yeah, what are my thoughts about this experience? My initial intention to make this video was to focus on the museum's history, like who built it, why it was built and exploring its collection. I realised that this building has gone through a lot of change of hands since it was created. It reminds me of stories about ancient cities or temples that was continued to be occupied and built on top of by new groups of people. I realised this building comes with a lot of baggage from the past. I think it's great that we can immerse ourselves in its collections to learn about the history of Bristol and different cultures and geographies. However, there is a dark side to the story due to the museum's connections to slavery related to the tobacco industry and its connection to the former British Empire. From my understanding, empires had given new technological innovations and societal structures to new lands. However, in the process, peoples and resources were exploited to filter wealth back to the empire's homeland and perhaps into the hands of a few. I guess in some ways, Bristol Museum captures this history through its collection it also makes me think of artists who were commissioned to glorify or commemorate times of occupation. But I guess the question is, what can we learn from this? I think Bristol Museum is doing a good job to acknowledge this past, to let us think about how, as people, we can continue to improve ourselves into the future. I understand the disputes between groups of people and museums due to their, in some cases, stolen artefacts that rightly want to be returned to the owner. Although some museums may have a dark past, I don't want to see museums disappear as I believe they can help bring communities together through shared experiences. They can continue to inspire and educate us and maybe play a role inspiring and shaping the future. If you've liked this video, feel free to give it a good thumbs up. But what about you? Have you been to Bristol Museum? What was your experience like? Be interesting to know in the comments below. If you like this channel and want to support what I'm putting out there, you're welcome to join me on Patreon. On there you'll get access to exclusive content, you'll get to see some of these videos before they go public. 
and um, you get things like merchandise and cards delivered to you anywhere in the world and all, the, and all that good stuff. So you're welcome to check it out in the description below. And if you want to watch another video similar to this one, I can recommend this video, Four Ways Art Contributes to Society. And I'll put that video at the end of this one. That's a wrap for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's, you know, given you some insight into Bristol Museum and its history. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.